came from all the way over there in that corner. Now we're all the way over here. Oh, there's some people swimming over there. Looks nice. All right. This is time to turn it around. Right now I'm packing up to head on out of here and get off this island. The next ferry is just over two hours away, so I gotta wrap things up here, hop in the truck, drive over there, and get situated. Now you guys might be wondering where Kaya is, and right now she's hopefully getting some much needed rest in the camper. Yesterday she was sleep deprived as well as over exercised, so she was getting extremely rambunctious by the end of the day. She was just bouncing off the walls, causing all kinds of trouble. So today I'm trying to make sure to give her periodic naps and rest time and sleep time throughout the day to hopefully mitigate some of those naughty behaviors. I'm just gonna quickly interrupt the video to address some of the concerns from folks who might be thinking to themselves, Jonathan, isn't it a little unsafe for you to leave Kaya and the camper unattended while you're out on the lake paddleboarding, especially now that we're in summer and temperatures are getting a lot warmer? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, Waggle, this no longer has to be a concern. This is the Waggle Pet Monitor. It allows you to remotely monitor the temperature and humidity in your vehicle in real time. It also provides instant alerts of any changes via text, email, and the Waggle app. Now for a lot of us out there, our pets are like our children. And the last thing in the world that we would want to do is to jeopardize their health, their well-being, or their safety. The Waggle Pet Monitor is an amazing tool to help ensure that you're keeping your pets safe this upcoming summer. The Waggle app allows you to keep an eye on temperature conditions in your vehicle while you're away. You can also set alerts via text or email to notify you when the temperature or humidity surpasses your set threshold. So I just got an alert on my phone that says temp alert monitor, 81.7 degrees. Since that's higher than the temperature threshold that I have set on my phone, uh, it promptly sent me an alert. Truthfully, I am so stoked that Waggle reached out to me to partner up with them because I sincerely believe that their pet monitor as well as a few of their other products are great tools to have in your toolkit to ensure that your pets are staying safe. Right now, Waggle is offering you guys, my viewers, 55% off of the Waggle Pet Monitor Pro Plus and the Waggle Pet Monitor Light Plus. Use code John55 at checkout. Thanks again to Waggle for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to it. Hi there. Hi. I'm going to Anacortes. Okay. Did you have a reservation? I don't know. Okay. 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 Thanks. You're welcome. She said we're going to do this, so hopefully that means I'm able to make it onto the next ferry. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting here for a while. Well, in the meantime, I guess I'm going to go have some leftover cold pizza for lunch.
Can't beat cold pizza. I made this pizza in my last video. If you guys missed that, go ahead and go check it out. Not just to watch me make the pizza, but to give the video a watch. So I actually tried to make a reservation to go out to the island and back, but everything was completely booked up. And it said that 25% of the space on the boat is reserved for walk-ups. So hopefully we make it back to the mainland today. Good girl, Kaya. Just chill up there. Good girl. Dang, they totally caught me off guard. I was chilling in there in the camper, and then all of a sudden all the cars started moving. A freaking blink of an eye. All the cars behind me were like, looking at me like, come on, buddy. I had to like, put all my camper steps away and get all ready and whatnot. No, no advance warning at all, and it's like 15 minutes early, which I suppose is a good thing. I think there was a mistake. The guy on the loudspeaker made an announcement and he was trying to make a joke and he said, Something along the lines of seven and three quarters street to Hogwarts and the people at the front of my line, line seven, thought that that meant that we go. So they started going and I don't think it was actually our time to go because they had, they had all of us pull over to the side here and there's all these other cars going by. So announcer guy, whoever you are, you made a joke, but it kind of backfired. <laughs> Sorry, Kaya, false alarm. We'll be on the boat soon. Well, it was too good to be true. I got all the way to the front and they told me, oh, your vehicle is too tall. There's no more room for tall vehicles on this ferry. So I have to go back around and wait for the next one, I guess, which is probably gonna be in like another two hours. That sucks. Having this camper is great in some aspects. And in other aspects, it can be extremely inconvenient. Well, we officially gotta wait another three hours to get onto the next ferry. Terrific. All right, Kai, let's go explore around a little bit, I guess. Many unbearable hours later. Oh uh, yes. Thank the heavens. Thank you. We're actually getting on, wow. It's a miracle, it's a freaking miracle. Half of me thought that they were just gonna turn us away and be like, oh, we're filled up again, sorry. Like last. <laughs> well guys, we've made it. Against all odds, we're on the ferry. I honestly was not gonna be totally surprised if I just wasn't able to get on this one. Even though we waited three hours, there's something in me that still doubted whether we would be able to get off or not, or to get onto the ferry or not. We're on water. We're on a ferry. Come on. I don't think you're supposed to be up here technically, Kaya. to get over here it was much earlier in the day so it was a lot cooler and also there were signs on the ferry that said no pets allowed so i just left kaya in the truck downstairs parked this is her first time actually up on the deck and everything's so new and exciting to her she doesn't know what the heck is going on it's really funny she wants to say hi to everybody but obviously not everybody wants to say hi to her so we're just chilling out here in the empty deck room Just like that, we are back on the mainland, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to figure out where the heck we're gonna go camping. That's the question, because it's many hours later than I was originally expecting to get back here. But we'll figure something out.
currently driving on this forest road to try to get to a camp spot and the entire time it's been scattered with massive potholes so i've been having to literally crawl through the potholes going like one or two miles per hour and i thought that oh the pot the potholes will probably cease at a certain point they haven't and i'm very far up this trail so i hope that oh my gosh this is not this is not ideal for this top heavy of a rig i keep feeling like the camper is just gonna rip off the truck any second now i really hope this spot works out because if not this is gonna be a lot of wasted time and effort and then i gotta go all the way back down the road too and it's already almost dark kaya's getting antsy too she doesn't really like this Neither do I. Neither do I, Kaya. Oh my goodness. y'all it looks like this might be the end of the road for us I don't know how well you could tell in the footage but that is a narrow narrow little trail and I do not trust bringing this big old rig up that little narrow trail so oh. so as I was sulking about that last route right here not working out and contemplating what to do next, I happened to look over to the side and I realized that right here, basically in the road, there is a spot that will do just fine. Now, it's not ideal because there's these giant puddles of water everywhere and mud, and I have a puppy who's best believe gonna make a mess out of all of this. But honestly, at this point, I just need a spot to sleep for the night. So this is going to do. I know you've been dying to get out, crying. Your life is so difficult, Kaya. Your life is so difficult. Oh, come on out. Oh, there we go. You're about to get so muddy. I'm going to have to really let go of my OCD here. <sighs> no, don't drink it. All right, we're gonna go on a little bit of a stroll here to get some of her wiggles out. Also, these freaking frogs are like popping off. These, this is the loudest I've ever heard frogs. They're like arguing or something. No. Look at this pothole littered road that I was having to drive on. This is just one section. It was basically like this the entire freaking road up here, which doesn't look too bad, but I'm telling you, when you have a giant top heavy truck camper, it's really bad. Come on, Kai, don't drink that. You really gotta take your time. She keeps trying to drink all of the puddles. And no, it's not because she wants, she's thirsty or dehydrated because she literally has access to fresh water at all times in the truck. There's something about the puddle water that's exciting to her. weathered can of enchilada sauce has seen better days.
know this isn't a traditional topping, but I'm gonna be putting some pickled veggies on as a finishing touch. Camp chilaquiles. Nothing beats it, even for dinner. Now I know that there's gonna be some people out there, some purists, if you will, who are saying that this is not the normal way to add the eggs into the chilaquiles, but this is the way that I like to do it, especially when I'm camping. Keep it all in one pan, make it super simple, super easy. And I kind of just like how it tastes that way. So, cheers. Mm. It has been far too long since I've had some camp chilaquiles. Oh, oh, ha. Oh my gosh, look at Kaya right now. You guys gotta see this. Fully zonked after a crazy couple of days. All kinds of new experiences, sights, sounds. And this, this right here is the result. Love it. You guys hear that? Absolute silence. I can't tell you how nice it is to be back out here in the middle of the wilderness, completely and totally alone. It was a cool campsite last night, you know, being on the water was really cool, but, oh man, that, that busy road right next to the campground was really, really a bummer, especially because there was cars driving till like midnight and then they started again at five in the morning and loud cars too, like, like heavy duty construction vehicles, driving by. So I would much rather be out in the middle of nowhere like this. It's just, it's a little bit more enjoyable for me. It's just a little bit more, not a little bit, a lot more enjoyable for me, which is why I'm always out in the middle of the wilderness. Too lazy to get my TV set up right now and all that. Break. Break. Look at me. Break. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, hell, there are a lot of mosquitoes out here right now. Actually, there were a lot of mosquitoes out last night. I had to rush inside on a, with the quickness because they were already starting to bite. I'm going to put on some mosquito spray. Sprayed it and it instantly fell out of the sky. Take that, mosquitoes. <laughs> Look at that, guys. There's already some raspberries growing in. Look at all those. Those look pretty ripe. Oh, yeah, that guy looks decent. Oh, it just fell right off the vine. Still quite bitter. Ugh. You know what? I just realized that these are actually not raspberries. Although they look very much like raspberries, they are salmon berries. And I think salmon berries do have a slightly more bitter um, taste to them. But I still don't think that these are like totally ripe and ready to eat. But they're salmon berries, not raspberries.
yesterday where we were camped out next to that road. It was extremely loud out very early with all the cars and traffic, and it just had really chaotic vibes. And Kaya woke up super early, and immediately she was just wanting to go. She was wanting to get outside and keep moving around. And today, the only sound you could hear right now is birds singing. And it's just so peaceful. And lo and behold, Kaya is passed out already. Now, I don't think that that is a coincidence. I know you don't want to go in the truck. It almost feels wrong to start this old, loud diesel truck and ruin the peace and serenity out here. Oh well. Anyways, I, uh, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Now we get to go drive down the pot hill, pothole scattered forest road for the next hour. Okay, maybe not an hour. Hopefully not an hour. But anyways, thank you guys like always for watching. You guys got there, go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo, y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon. We will see you very soon in the next one. Peace.